Have you ever wondered what it would be like to travel across the country, to visit and explore places you've only seen in pictures? Have you ever thought about just jumping up and traveling to a new place just to see what it would feel like? The happiest place on earth is known as Disney World in Orlando, Florida, and our guest today is here to talk about his last trip there and show us a couple of pictures that he took to make us all jealous and eager to go. The Humanities Mass Communications Department at Norwalk Community College presents The New Directors, the show that introduces you to television's future writers, directors, and personalities. And now join our host, John Hartman, to meet the next new director. Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's edition of The New Directors. All of the people involved with this program are students in the television production course and are directing, switching, controlling audio, operating cameras, and acting as talent for the first time today. The guests you will meet on this show are students who, when not on camera, are behind the scenes working hard to bring this program to you with as few mistakes as possible. Each student has written and directed four different productions. This program will give them the chance to talk about themselves and the productions they've created and give you the chance to get to know them and enjoy some of the work they've done during the semester. Our guest today is a student at NCC with a powerful interest in traveling and seeing new places. We would like you to meet today's guest, Robert Redman. Thank you for having me. Pleasure's all mine. So we know you love to travel. Could you tell us a little bit about your most recent trip to Disney? Yeah, I recently went to uh, Disney World in Florida with my girlfriend, um, and we had an amazing time. It was gorgeous weather, gorgeous sights, so much to see, so much to do. I actually brought a couple pictures with us, so you can actually take a look and see for yourself. Okay, that sounds really great. Um, so we went during the spring, and when we went, it was um, like the flower festival. So you'll see in all these pictures, like this one, you'll see they have all different scenes from Disney movies. Um, all in flower arrangements and gardens and all these all throughout the entire, all every single park they have these. Um, so it was an amazing thing to see. Along with that is the spring weather. It was gorgeous, gorgeous weather down there. Um, super break from Connecticut weather at the time. It was so cold. I remember going down there and immediately jumping off the plane and going, oh my god, it's like 70 degrees, so perfect. Um, when we were there, we did every single thing that we could possibly do when we were there. Um, we went to every single park. Uh, we went, actually, par every single park almost twice we tried um, just to see everything. Um, we did the safari where you see all the different animals. Um, the, every single like African animal they have there, it's like an hour-long safari. Um, they've got rhinos, giraffes, uh, gorillas, hippopotamuses, potamai. Um, and when we, there, when we were there, we actually stayed at this hotel. Um, it was a themed hotel. It was a 70s themed hotel. Well, it wasn't a 70s theme. It was a century themed hotel. So they had each and every different like, sections of the hotel. They had um, um, the cen different centuries. So we stayed in the like, 70s or 80s one. Um, so you'll see it in coming up. You'll see a bunch of different pictures of the hotel. We're still looking at animals, of course. Um, but with the hotel, like this one, this is the, the long shot of where we uh, stayed outside of our hotel. It's a Rubik's Cube, yeah. they've got like Roger Rabbit, um, before you saw um, Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head. Um, gorgeous scenery. I can't believe like how amazing it looked inside of it. I'm ready to go back as soon as I possibly can. It looks fantastic there. Um, but could you tell us a little bit about why you decided to take TV1? Sure. Um, in high school, I did a video production class all four years of high school. Um, and in that, we did a bunch of different projects. We did all different styles of things. We did like a Please Stand By video. It was just a bunch of different shots. We did news videos, um, About Me videos, all different style things. Um, and with that, I also joined the um, tech program where we did uh, after school filming. So we did uh, sporting events, board of ed meetings, theater things. We did all those different sorts of filming after school of the activities, and I loved it. I think it was, it was a crazy amount of fun I did. But um, I wasn't entirely sure if I wanted to do a career out of it. So that's why I'm, I'm taking TV1. I want to see if I still have an interest in it, if it's still a passion of mine. Um, and I love it. I'm still I'm loving the different projects we're doing. So it's definitely something for me to think about exactly doing. All right. It sounds like you've got a lot of good experience. But what are some of the things that you've learned in 
uh, this course that were new? So I, before taking the course, I knew a lot of the different motions. Um, you know, I, I knew focusing in and out. I knew, you know, moving the camera in and out, but I didn't know the terminology. So I learned, you know, dolly in, truck left, truck right. I learned all of those where beforehand I, I didn't. And I knew basics of it, but taking this course really like honed it in to the specifics of it. Um, I learned a little bit more editing techniques, you know, basic stuff. I did it in the past in high school and on my own, but it was really small stuff. So using the Avid allows me to actually like do a lot more in-depth work um, and doing the studio work as well, getting a lot of more experience on, on different camera rolls and different things like that. Um, it really, really helps out a lot. Well, why don't you tell us about your student studies, uh, Teacup, Fall New England, and Orange Projects? Sure. Starting with the student studies project, it was really just an introductory project, I would say. We were given specific shots, specific sequences that we had to do. Um, and all we did is take the shot as it is with the different camera styles, keep different camera angles, and actually make it into a real project. Um, so it went relatively easy, had a little bit of trouble with it, but you know, it was really our first learning project, learning how to build the shots, shoot for the edit, um, and go with it as it is. Um, the second project that comes up was the teacup project. So with this project, we got a little bit more flexibility out of it. It's still primarily a learning project. We were given specific shots in the specific sequence that we had to follow, but we were given a little bit more leeway as to how we wanted to get those. Same thing, still shooting for the edit. Um, film more shots than you have to, um, and then edit them together into a full project. Um, it, was a, it was a pretty easy project as well, but I liked it. It was simple, but like I said, still basically a learning project. Um, the next one would be the Fall New England project. This is one where we were given a lot of flexibility. Um, there were predetermined shots that we had to get, but we were not told, shoot at this tree, get this specific shot. We had to get lines of grace, um, lines of harmony, things like that, where we just you know, went out in the open, took those shots, edited them together. Um, There's no storyboarding for this, so it was just take the shots, edit them together into a, a full, nice looking style project, and I had a lot of fun with it. The last one would be the Orange Project. Now this is one where we were given a lot of control over it. Um, there was no script. We had to write the script. We designed the story. We designed the, the complete attributes of it. Um, so we had to write the script, make a storyboard, get those shots, and then edit together. So it was really making our own full-fledged final project um, where we took all of the different skills that we learned throughout the class and put it together into a final project. So it was fun. I liked that one. Uh, they all looked great. Um, could you tell us about which one you thought was your best project? Sure. So my best project I would consider is the Orange Project. It may not have been the most best looking project, but it was definitely the project that I had the most fun on. Um, like I said, we're able to get a lot of creative freedom with it. And I'm not really a creative guy, but it allowed me to write my own script, direct the entire thing, shoot the entire thing, and then edit the entire thing together. So you get full creative freedom over it. This project is completely yours. Uh, completely mine, exactly. Everything, every single thing about it was designed by me or my friends that I had helped with. Um, so, like I said, it may not have been my absolute best project, but in my eyes, it's the best project because it's completely mine. Every thing, single thing about it was designed by me. So, um, and I had a lot of fun with it, as you can see. A little <laughs> orange sitting there listening yeah. to music. And a little, lot of fun creating this project. Absolutely, absolutely was the best project that we did. I love that. Yep. <laughs> stupid, stupid little project, but very, very fun to play with. Well, what are some of the most important skills that you learned while taking this course, and how will you put them to use in the future? So some of the most important would probably be the vocab that I learned before, rack focus, shift focus, all, all different things that I knew beforehand, but I just didn't know the terminology for. I can take that and continue on with it. Um, the other things would be you know, career guidance, really learning is if, if this is actually for me, if this is something that I can see myself doing. Um, definitely taking that knowledge from this class is going to help me further on in my life. Uh, whether or not I stay with this field, we'll see. Well, I hope you do, because a lot of that stuff looked great. Um, today we got to meet someone who showed us the pictures he has taken on his last trip to Disney. As a new TV director, he hopes to apply what he has learned here at NCC 
to further his interest in film and TV production. He also plans to use the new knowledge from TV One to create more videos in the future and work more in depth on studio productions. We would like to thank Robert Redman for joining us today. Thank you, John. It's been a pleasure. The pleasure is all mine. We hope you enjoyed meeting one of television's future directors, and we hope you will continue to join us each week to watch our progress. Thank you, and have a great day. This has been The New Directors, with your host, John Hartman, directed by Perry Hoy. I'm channeling your announcer, Jermaine Johnson. The New Directors is a Norwalk Community College student production.